Hey guys, what do you think about Amazon stock? Is Amazon stock undervalued or overvalued? In this video, I want to walk you through our analysis on how we arrived to our intrinsic value of $170 a share and also calculated three different scenarios, three different cases, as I'm illustrating here on the screen, and walk you through the analysis of performing discounted cash flow analysis to calculate an unlevered free cash flow. This is a little bit more technical and ultimately showcasing what professional analysts at hedge funds, at investment banks and, and equity research firms are performing from a fundamental perspective to make an investment informed decision. So with that being said, let's take a quick look here at our screen. And the first thing that stands out is that Amazon over the last 12 months is essentially on a downtrend. So the stock is down approximately 40% year to date. And many reasons for this, a slowdown in the economy. We have a Fed that is raising interest rates. We have also experienced an increase in inflation. And many tech firms have been forward loading or laying off uh, staffs, which it's putting into question what will happen in 2023 with the U.S. economy. Are we going to enter a recession or are we currently in a temporary slowdown or recession? So all of this information has been weighing negatively on the entire tech sector. And that is part of the story that you're seeing on why the stock and the entire uh, tech sector has been underperforming the market. Now, the other question is, is the stock going to bounce from here or is it going to go down? Well, many investors are anticipating a rally at, at the end of, to the end of the year. But other investors believe that the stock has potentially another leg to the downside. And what areas or key levels can we look at as potential uh, entry for the stock if you believe in the longer term story of Amazon, if you believe that the stock is undervalued? So that level could be right around $70 a share or this area right here, which we currently are give or take, could be anywhere between $90 or $85 a share. But based on our discounted cash flow analysis, we believe that the intrinsic value of Amazon stock, it's $170. When you look at margin of safety, the stock is essentially discounted by around 35 or 40%. Fundamental investors, if a stock is undervalued or mispriced by the market by more than 40%, they will look at that as an opportunity to buy a good quality, free cash flow, positive generating business and own it for two, three, four, or five years. They will take a longer term approach like what I am going to be illustrating on the screen. So from a tactical point of view, if the stock comes down to around $70 a share, that could be an opportunity to load up and ride the next wave in a scenario or situation where the stock can potentially hit $184 based on our Wall Street case analysis, $170 a share based on our base case, and $143 a share worse based on our worst case scenario. Now, what is the time frame? From an investor or fundamental investment analyst point of view, we take a longer term time frame. 6, 12, 24, or, or, or 36 months, two to five year time period. In more, uh, from a more longer term perspective, if you're managing a mutual fund, you're taking uh, uh, investment decisions to hold something for 10 years, okay? So what is the time frame that we are projecting for the stock to recover and hit these price points? Well, take a look down here, right? We're going to enter closely to 2023. It's right around the corner, right? Map that out to potentially 2026. So you're giving this potential investment thesis anywhere, you know, between two to four years. Now think about it. If you have a stock that goes down to, let's say, $70 a share and doubles over the next two to four years, that's 100% return. But on a compounded basis, on a CAGR basis, you're looking at a potential rate of return of anywhere between 15 
to maybe 25% on a IRR basis or CAGR, compounded annual growth rate. That is better than the S&P 500. But in order to calculate this analysis, you need to understand how to forecast cash flows, revenues, the balance sheet, and calculate the unlevered free cash flow uh, of the company and perform DCF analysis. Now, this is some of the technical skills that we actually teach in our starter program. So let's change screens here and take a quick look at part of the case study that we've put together here for students in our program where they get to learn how to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock, uh, where they get to read and, and review the most recently quarterly filings, uh, perform a discounted cash flow analysis, and so forth. So this is a type of case study and analysis the students in our program are actually doing. If you're a retail trader, if you're an investor, if you're a college student, if you're a professional, this can improve your financial literacy and improve your investment investment decision-making process. You have more techniques and more tools uh, at your disposal to be able to calculate what is the fair market price of the cash flows of the company. So we're taking a fundamental analyst point of view. So this is right here the template that we walk our students through or that you can actually perform yourself to calculate the intrinsic value. And obviously, what you're getting to see here is how the stock has performed year to date combined with the story and quite simply try to answer these questions for yourself as part of the analysis and the exercise that uh, we're going to quickly walk you through. And of course, don't forget that we take a framework of thinking on the sentiment in which the stock is currently in. We would apply our own stock model to identify is it in phase one, phase two, or phase three. If we look at Amazon stock, we can say that it's in phase number five, right? The stock had increased significantly over, uh, we can say over the last year or so, right? We can say that this entire wave has already taken place, and now we're waiting for the next cycle. Essentially, what you're seeing right here on our screen. So this is just another framework, another tool, uh, to help us gauge where are we in a stock or in an economic cycle. Very important to understand that. Now, you also get access to our full case study for Amazon, where it's over 13 hours, four chapters, over 10 lessons, and you learn to apply the soft skills, the diligence, being able to create uh, presentations and analysis, size a, an industry, in this case the e-commerce industry, but also be able to build a financial model, perform valuation, and ultimately come up with your own price target and investment recommendation. Now here is the Excel model or the template that we recently completed to arrive to our $170 uh, intrinsic value for Amazon stock. The next tab is the entire completion, as you're seeing right here. The different scenarios that we analyze or perform our weighted average cost of capital for the stock, performing the perpetuity uh, 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 or good and growth rate method to calculating an intrinsic value of a share, and also the terminal EBITDA method. Now, I'm not going to go too much in depth into this spreadsheet because we have an entire lecture uh, and analysis in our platform that walks you through this. But what stands out, or for you to pay close attention to, is the price target that we perform, essentially calculating our own lever free cash flow over the next 10 or so years on the stock, and what is that worth today? What are the future cash flows of Amazon on an unlevered basis worth today? And the intrinsic share price value that we get, it's $170. From a margin of safety standpoint, the stock is essentially trading almost 50%, so Amazon stock, based on our discounted cash flow analysis, and when we apply the margin of safety, the stock is trading almost at a 40, or almost at a 50% discount. So for longer term, fundamental base investors, not day traders, longer term fundamental base investors, the stock has a potential upside 
of over 100%. And if you're patient enough, you can benefit on what the stock can potentially be over the next two, three, four, or five years, generating a compounded annualized rate of return of 15 to 20%. It all depends on how long in the time before the stock recovers, the entire tech sector becomes in favor. We are in, we, we have a risk on environment where portfolio managers, mutual fund managers, and hedge funds managers are buying back tech stocks. It might be a year or two from now. And that would be the right market environment or condition for Amazon stock to resume their next run to the upside or, or, or change direction and continue moving higher. And now we have a quantifiable price target that can put into perspective what could be the expected rate of return if we buy Amazon stock. Now, this is all part of the analysis, folks, right? There's a lot more behind this. There's an entire uh, model where we are forecasting the income statement, the balance sheet, the cash flow statement of the stock, uh, of, of the company, I should say, share buyback schedule. This is a type of work that students in our program and other members in our community are learning. Now, if you're asking how can I access this spreadsheet, well, quite simply, it's on our platform. Simply go to RomeroMentoring.com right here. You can access any one of our starter programs. Here is the price points, okay? Here's all of the course modules and lectures you get access to. And, of course, here are the case studies, which are very important that you will also have access to. In this case, we're going over... Amazon investment case. And once you access our platform, well, you can see the case study here under case studies, Amazon. You can see all of the lectures. You can see the overview of the program, the files and the assignments that you get to download. And of course, you'll be able to see how I perform a DCF analysis, how I calculate my weighted average cost of capital, or a sensitivity analysis table. And if you want access to the model and the solution, well, under our education portfolio here on our platform, if you scroll down, you'll be able to see it right here. Okay? So there's a lot more benefit and features associated with our platform. We also have our own uh, community fee where we share lessons and ideas, and other members and students of our community are actually sharing their own price targets on the stock. So I hope in this video, you're getting to see a little bit more of the technical skill set through a discounted cash flow analysis to be able to calculate our DCF intrinsic value on Amazon uh, share price. So folks, I hope you find value in this. And if you want access to the model, if you want to learn more about valuation, if you want to level up your professional investment analyst skill set, then check out our starter program. So with that being said, folks, I hope you found value in our analysis, in the content, in the type of work that we do here at Romero Mentoring. Uh, if you're looking to learn more, go ahead and enroll in one of our starter programs, and we'll see you inside in our community and in our live lectures. Take care.